Good morning retail traders. This is the Sneaky Snake Trading Strategy and I want to go over this morning's market report on the indices and two sectors that I am watching. And are we in a bull or bear market? That's the question. We'll find out today when we get the CPI numbers here at 8.30 Eastern Time. Pretty sure that's the time to come out. But we're going to go ahead and talk about the SPY right off the bat. I want to try to get the 10 minute, I mean the 30 minute, 10 day chart pulled up right here. And I'm thinking we need to hold this number right around 356.48. And the resistance to break would be the 200 SMA on that 30 minute time frame. And if that breaks, we got three different levels we can take this thing up to with a long, I'm going to say no more than 364.28. And that's the SPY. The next one will be the SPX. Again, it's all about the numbers. I got a support level here at 3574.50. We might open up right around let me, SPX. Let me see where we are right now. Yeah, I think we could open up right around 3603.72, and that'll be yesterday's resistance to break. And it's the pivot point here that I think needs to break in between this channel with a long right around 3633. But we need to break that 51 EMA on the 30 minute time frame, along with that 65 EMA. So it's either one of them two especially if we bounce above the 50 SMA. The trading strategy includes chart patterns plus moving averages. The next one we're going to look at is going to be the QQQ. If the QQQ is running up, we need to come up and touch the top of the channel. If not, we need to hold that support here at 261.83 with a resistance to break right at 266.48. And we're just up a little bit right now. Today could be a, a hazardous day or it could be a great day. All depends on them CPI numbers, but I'm still bearish in the market. So any kind of pop, I advise you to, especially if you see a double top, triple top, or you hit one of my resistance levels, this one on the 30 minute is definitely going to be the 200 SMA that runs right into my resistance at 266.48. IWM. This one here looks to me like it's got a nice little symmetrical Place. flag. Place. Got a support level. I don't know. I've got 166.45 on here. We could pull back to that and hold that support level, and that would be a higher low, which would keep it bullish, if not in the symmetrical flag. I like to draw these trend lines on here like this. Just about like that right there, and it definitely runs into that 166.45. So if that pulls back and hits that, we could run back up and hit this top part of the flag, and that's going to be right here. Actually, it's an ascent, it'll create a sending triangle. Unless it pulls back to this one right here. But yeah, we got a nice little sending triangle that maybe could form today on the IWM. Now this is the hardest, I think, one to play. So I'm going to put a red line at that 169.65 to break. That'll be your hard resistance. If not, she can pull back and create that symmetrical flag. And then maybe break up or down. And that number will probably run right into that. Yeah, it would probably be right around 167.83. And that's the pivot point inside of the flag. I traded off this here trend line yesterday, so I'm just going to go ahead and erase that one off. And boom. So recap, 166.45 to hold with a resistance to break right around 167.83 into an ascending triangle, which would already had a triple top. So it has to break that 200 SMA on the 30 minute time frame. I also like 
If you want to make it real simple and easy, go to the SQQQ. If we become very bearish, we can break this double top resi this resistance at 63.67. If we become um, bullish, we can drop down, maybe find support level no lower than the 59.80 to hold. And that goes along with the TQQQ. I like to trade that one too. Well, I haven't traded it much, but it correlates. Same thing as SQQ does, but this is the opposite. If we start to have a bullish day, we can tend to break this 65 EMA. And if we can break that 65 and we have a nice little trend up, maybe we can get up here to this yin yang resistance level of right around 1894 and try to break that holding support down here at the triple bottom right around 1796 and then if that goes ahead and breaks that you have another resistance right up here right around the 1961 just keep a good eye on them now the two sectors I'm going to be watching is going to be airlines and chips. Where's my airline up here? I thought it was that one there. There it is. We definitely broke out in the airlines. I think one of the earnings is coming up today. If it's so, yeah, they've already hit a resistance. They might pull back a little bit on us and find support. I'd look for the previous high. <laughs> That we had yesterday and call them supports on all these and this is on the one minute time frame ual 3452 to hold we or the 200 sma let's just go with the 200 sma on these on every one of them if the 200 sma holds on these airlines that's ual jets aal and jet blue i think jet blue is a little oversold it's one to keep an eye on we definitely hit my resistance on AAL. And the final but not least would be the chips. We have a nice little breakout conference call here in earnings on TSM. These earnings are always good, but now that we have uh, have some restrictions on the China chip companies, some of these might get hurt and be a sympathy play to it, and you could catch a bounce. So just see if they pull back, try to find... A pattern for example right here you got this sending triangle it can pull back to 5695 and be your solid support double bottom triple bottom right here at 5242 would have to hold on MU or you buy a put same thing right here you got the little dip pull back so 114.58 would have to hold then you'd have a double bottom at 113.72.75 and then you got MTSM this should be affected it should pull back easily to the 200 SMA or maybe hold resistance support level right here at 64.21 if that doesn't hold go to the bottom of the channel and that's your final support at 63.42 and that's it for right now I wish everybody a great day and aloha retail traders some say mahalo